Hey guys, it's Sam Captain Curry here, back with another anime video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Carnival Volume 14. Now, this is, of course, a review, review on my second read through, so let's get right into it. The book's funny, okay? The book is extremely comical. I think Aqua has some brilliant moments. I think Darkness, even though I don't like her character as much, has some brilliant moments. Cosm and Megumin are very funny together, and Yoon Yoon is always a treat to read. I love how the book is very Cosm and focused, the ship between Cosm and Megumin. And their relationship really develops in a natural way. How, yeah, eventually, like, Megumin views them as a terrible person, but they're fun now. Like, they're, they love each other. Cosma, Cosma's watching Megumin sleep. She wakes up, and she's like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, just watching the face of the woman I love. It's really sweet. And, yeah, that's just him being cool. But it's just nice. I love it, dude. Their relationship is one of my favorite parts of the book. And it's one of the strongest points of the series, in my opinion. And I can't, and I hope the anime eventually gets this far or this, this like season 7 if the anime ever gets this far because it would just be beautiful to watch also the setting of the crimson demons the crimson demons are always my favorite characters i like yu yu who's trying to push Megumin and cosma because she knows cosma is super wealthy i love komiko in small doses you know she can't be annoying in big doses such as volume 11 but here it's done well i like bukulati the neat <laughs> who's just like cosma but op like <laughs> it's just great, and I love Union. Union, ugh, ugh. The Soviet Union, I serve. Because Union is so good. Also, the story of Union g growing up, and how she's becoming chief, and how she's leaving Megumin behind. Also, I also love how Cosma tries to help Megumin repair her pride, because the whole village sees Megumin as a joke. Because she doesn't know advanced magic, she only knows explosion. Especially because she was going to be such a huge deal. She was... She was top tier. She was smartest crimson mage. She had the most magical um, potential. Yes, she became a joke. And I love how Megumin, with the, through all that, says, "No, I'm not a joke. I'm following my dreams." And Cosmo is here supporting me, and he is. And I just, it's beautiful. Also, how when Union becomes chief, and Megumin feels like she's all left alone now that Union has finally surpassed her, Cosmo says, "No, no, 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 no. You're you're the best crimson demon in my eyes, Megumin. So we're gonna go kill this ultimate beast. Just, and we're not gonna tell anybody." Just so you know, that in, in the heart of hearts, you can still compete with Yunjun. And they do. And I love it. It's such a good moment. And that's where we get one of my favorite drawings in the series. And the drawing I'm talking about is this one right here. Where, where Megumin and Cosma... Cosma's like, hey, I need I need to do this for you because you're not happy. You're depressed. And it's so beautiful. Like, just these beautiful smiles. Like, just two characters. Like, just loving each other. Like, ah, oh, it's so great! <laughs> and not only that... the um, this art in this book is phenomenal. I feel like this picture of Union finally growing out of his shell and like Megumin finally accepting it, saying like, yeah, we're <laughs> It's beautiful, dude. I also love this picture of Serena, Serena's best girl. And <laughs> what Cosmo does in volume 15, I just love because Cosmo's a king. He's <laughs> he's brilliant. And I love how this joke that um, some of the Crimson Demons thought Megumin and Union were lesbian, which... <laughs> he got a great laugh out of me, dude. Uh, it's It's funny. Well, I've been praising this book very, very much. There's one portion of the book that I don't like, and that's Darkness. And I know a lot of people like Darkness, but those are mainly only anime watchers. If you've seen Darkness past Volume 7, she's been on a sharp decline in character. And I, it, it really hurts for me to say this, but I don't like her anymore. Darkness went from a noble who would never abuse her powers and only help her friends to a slut. And like, not that she's sleeping with other guys, but she knows that Cosma and Megumin, they love each other. Yet, she still tried to rape Cosma. She had a roofy Cosma. She also tried to, like, Cosma, like, hey, let's go pick up a Megumin. And we can just, like, start chilling. She's like, oh, why, why don't we go to date? This is Cosma's son. When Yu Yu, Megumin's mother, is trying to push the Megumin, um, Cosma relationship, Darkness like, um, no, no, no. You cannot do that, okay? They should not be dating. That's a young child. You should, me and Cosma, though. <laughs> oh, we're good. It hurts to see um, Darkness being so selfish. And she's inconsistent, because sometimes she'll be like that, and then she'll be normal. I don't understand it. Now, of course, Darkness is still pretty, pretty funny, and I love that, but she's just not a good character anymore. I still enjoy her. I, li I like her. Volume 7 Darkness is probably the best version of any character in the series, <sighs> but she, that's long gone. That's, I miss her, dude. It, it really hurts reading how Darkness has become such a poor character now. But overall, what I think of the book? I loved it. I did not expect to love this book as much as I did. I read it within 30 minutes. I just couldn't stop reading. I feel like this book is like probably one of my top three favorite novels, maybe behind volumes 9 and 7. 7, of course, being when Darkness was at her peak. It's brilliant. It's a 9.4 out of 10. I loved it, and I can't recommend this enough. I, did, I didn't know I loved this book as much. <laughs>
So did you like the book? Um, did you even read the book? If you didn't, um, you probably have to read some books before. But I recommend this book. Anyway, um, prepare to see some ReZero, Love of War crap on the channel soon. And anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.